Boss. Is it possible? There you are. Guardian. Guardian. Eyes up, Guardian. It worked. You're alive. You don't know how long I've been looking for you. I'm a ghost. Actually, now I'm your ghost. And you... Well, you've been dead a long time. So you're gonna see a lot of things you won't understand. This is fallen territory. We aren't safe here. I have to get you to the city. Hold still. Don't worry, I'm still with you. We need to move. Fast. What's up everyone? I'm the Unstable Mailman and welcome to a first look playthrough of the Destiny beta. Right now we're on the intro mission, which basically means we know nothing of what's going on. I woke up in the middle of the biggest fallout looking world ever and there's aliens trying to kill me if you did not get that. And if you don't already know, uh, Destiny is... A first-person shooter, massive multiplayer online role-playing game. Or in nerd lingo, let's see, FPS MMORPG. Got it. And it's uh, made by Activision and Bungie. So you have the first-person shooter of Call of Duty, which it's nothing like Call of Duty. It's so much better. And then you have the, you know, like the almost like a Halo feel with the uh, Bungie. And it comes together with the massive multiplayer online, and it has the typical massive multiplayer online feel to it. With the leveling system and everything like that. <coughs> and if the thought of a massive multiplayer online first person shooting role playing game does not give you the biggest nerve boner, you might need to go talk to a doctor because you need a Viagra supplement. And I will start off the actual, uh, oh yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say that melee is the most satisfying thing in the world on this game. Uh, each class has its own melee system. Oh, <laughs> you get a teabag, you get a teabag. That was awesome. Thank you for jumping as soon as I jumped in. What the fuck, you little bitch? <laughs> yeah. Each class has its own melee system. There's three classes. I'm the Titan, which means I get to right hook to the jaw, which is awesome. Loot catch. Let's see what's inside. You pick up your shotgun, your secondary weapon that does massive amounts of damage. Trip mines. And later on, you get a heavy weapon. You can either choose like a rocket launcher. <laughs> oh yeah, you get like a rocket launcher or a heavy machine gun. And those do what you would expect them to do. Oh, what the hell? Who the fuck just shot me? Oh, you bitch. What I'm fighting right now are called dregs. I'm actually going to wait until the next area to get more into a rundown of the four basic enemy classes. This should be good. Um, there are four basic enemies. You can usually tell what they are just by the name above their head. So here we have a Vandal. Vandals, you can usually tell what they are because of the white armor and the four arms. They are like, I'd say the third most difficult basic enemy. And it takes about two punches to kill them because I go ahead and rate difficulty off <coughs> melee combat. <clears throat> That's a Dreg, if you didn't quite catch the uh, name above his head. There's probably another one right here. Dregs are level, I'd say the second hardest, or not second hardest, but the second easiest to kill. And it takes about one melee hit to kill them, even at full health. You can usually tell a drag by, let me find one that's dead. It's usually got the red armor going on, the two arms, and they're the most common enemy you're gonna find. The uh, 
the first and the easiest is called a shank. It's a little flying robot, and it's the easiest just because of the fact that it can't do a lot of damage because you kill it so fast. This was an old cosmic. The fourth and hardest level, which aren't so common, is a captain. And we'll run into a captain eventually, but for right now, we get to fuck up some dregs and vandals. And like all troop carriers, these ships have surface or air to surface missiles which will tear you a new asshole if you stay out in them for very long. <sighs> you bitch. This is a good time to talk about the health regen. You basically go get out of combat, kill the enemy that's following you with a nice swift punch to the face, and you regain health. It's pretty much like any typical, pretty much any game at this point, you regain health. Because who likes to pick up health bags? That's, that's for the birds. And here we'll see the shanks. These are the shanks, little flying robots. Takes like three hits to kill them. One punch is more than enough to destroy them. And I just feel like showing off my shotgun. Ugh. And you level up like most typical games of this nature. <clears throat> you can see here, here's my guy. I have basic armor because this is the intro mission. My basic shotgun, basic auto rifle, and my striker titan subclass. I'm gonna go ahead and unlock the flashbang grenade and continue on. Now, the first time I played this, I was thinking, hmm, flashbang grenade. So like Call of Duty, flashbang. Nope, this grenade is 10 times better in the fact that it decimates enemies and actually does damage. But it does stun them for a small amount of time. I'm not totally sure what the actual time is. The headshots. The headshots. Look, where, where'd you go? Where'd you go? What can I teabag? I can't teabag you. Yes, I can. Oh, man. There's a ship. This is a captain, by the way. Um, I waited to see the captain because I wanted to show you his... Uh... First off, you can tell the captain because of the head dress. And they're usually standing a little bit taller than the other normal sub or uh, normal basic classes of enemies. Um, they come with this shotgun thing that doesn't do a lot of damage at range because if you see, it shoots out in a linear kind of pattern, and it's really easy to dodge. But up close, they will tear you a new asshole. And also with the um, the enemies can melee as well. And typically, the higher level the enemy, the harder the melee is, or the harder the melee does damage. And the captain's melee is pretty hardcore. If you didn't see that, the captain does have a shield that you have to take down before you actually start doing health or uh, damage to his actual health. And one other thing he has is a teleport. I don't know if I'm going to get this captain to teleport or not. Not if I'm punching him. And that's how they'll tear you up. They'll punch you and start lighting you up with the shotgun. Which is never good. That's his teleport. There it is. I got him to do it. And of course, since this is the intro level, it's the easiest thing in the world to just go ahead and blast his head off with the shotgun. Finish off this last drag. And that's all the enemies for the intro mission right. cutscene. Let me see if I can get us out of here. <clears throat> I'm going to set my controller down because I already know it's the end. Like I said, I've played before. And... Even though I played this with different classes and I played the intro mission over five times at this point, I still find it really entertaining. Um, the the level of difficulty you can you can choose which difficulty you want at the beginning of a mission. Obviously, the intro mission doesn't have that capabilities capability doesn't have that capability. And there are bosses that do have a lot more health and damage. But you don't see them in this beginning because obviously the captain is basically a mini boss, which later on they just become a uh, not so random enemy. Okay. But they are a mini boss. I'm gonna go ahead and say they're a mini boss. And right here you'll see a um, a boss from later on in the game. You'll we'll see him in this uh, beta test. That's him right there. He has some really long, elaborate alien name that I'm not totally sure of what it is right now. 
But we don't see him right now. We go ahead and fly away because, let's face it, we're a level one, and depending on what difficulty you start the mission as, he can be a level six and will destroy you. And there you go. That's the intro mission. Um, what I think I'm going to do with this beta right here is play through it to the, uh, the level peak or at least till I've done all the levels I'm allowed to now, you peek out at level 8 for the beta, and I believe there's 4 or 5 missions you can do, and a uh, strike, which is basically like a dungeon where you can join up with other people, and take on a level of very difficult bosses. Um, right here is the end of the mission screen, it's got your you know kills, everything like that. You can see uh, the fire team would be right here. This, I'm the fire team leader because I'm the only person here, but you can usually have up to like a three-man fire team seems to be the thing right now. Basically what I do with this game series is if maybe say you don't have enough money to pre-order the game yet, or you're not entirely sure you want to pre-order the game yet to actually play the beta, um, follow me on this, this series right here. I'm going to just run through the game like I said. Uh, that's all the time I have. So what I'm going to do now is continue playing because this game is fun as hell. You guys have a nice day and I'll see you tomorrow.